Every driver pays a road maintenance levy on every gallon of petrol and diesel bought. Monies realized from these are used for road maintenance across the country. Now the state is losing huge sums of money as most taxi drivers have converted their vehicles not made to use gas to, to be powered by it. I asked some of the taxi drivers how they wanted road maintenance to be funded. Say a tax. Driver's phone. You try income tax near the you try to boot. Now, anything I do, road wife near the end. Road wife. Say, gas is here. No, I'm far. Red wolf. Anything I do, road wife. I'm just saying. Public relations officer of the National Petroleum Authority, Yaro Kasambata, states the practice of the taxi drivers is contributing to the gas shortage in the system. Everything has to be planned. So the reason why we're in that kind of situation we're in, that the taxi drivers did not give us the opportunity to plan, to admit their new preference for the product. Now, if we start now and we, we put in the basic infrastructure that we need, do the investment we're supposed to do, it will no longer be an issue of whether a taxi driver buys LPG or not because ordinarily it's a safer way of driving. Keeps the you know environment clean and you know it's it's if all that is for the you know subsidy we are paying even better. About five thousand metric tons of LPG is consumed every week, and out of that, the Tema oil refinery produces only thousand metric tons, whilst the government subsidizes it by ten million Ghana cities to reduce dependency on forest. Most drivers have parked their vehicles and wait for a gas tank. There might be a way forward. Because fuel trade, that is one of the leading importers of, uh, or the leading importer of LPG to the country, has set up their own infrastructure. They are building additional tanks. And uh, the capacity is 4,000 metric tons. If you add up to the original uh, capacity we have of about 7,000, that will bring our total national capacity to store gas to about 11,000 metric tons.